So camp ministry is something that really kind of fell into our hearts a um, little over 12 years ago, right after we first got married. Um, I was not raised in the church, but had gone to camp. Uh, it's kind of like a leadership camp or just a summer camp. And so never really got the gospel or heard, heard it applied to kind of an outdoor setting and a creation setting. And so it was just something that kind of popped up on our radar, something we both were passionate about, always knowing that we had maybe a greater purpose and calling that we needed to pay attention to. And so through a bunch of events, we found Trinity Pines and I just felt that I wanted that. I wanted to join that and be a part of that. I grew up in church, grew up going to camp, being involved in different ways. Um, and just kind of camping ministry was where I had the opportunity to kind of explore my faith a little bit on my own outside of a church setting, outside of that normal kind of environment. And so that's kind of where we came back. Um, I really appreciated how well thought out everything was here. Um, you can tell there was a lot of intentionality and discussion that went into the type of buildings that were here uh, that allow really to have a diverse kind of um, service. You know, you can equally do a children's camp and the next week do a great women's retreat because of the structure and just the way they did their, some of their housing. And so it was very tidy, very neat. It just really, as I say, has good bones on it. That was really impressive. I think for me, it was part of the partnerships that came along with the volunteers and a lot of the support from the, the churches in the district and that sort of thing. Just the element of being able to reach in relationally, but also offer support and different things like that it was pretty neat. Well, one of the things that I really felt when I came to visit um, was just the strength of the camp. I mean, financially in a good place, just an amazing pool of volunteers and supporters, and just healthy. One of the things that's been really neat is just to hear all the different stories from Rick and Marvin and Bob and all the volunteers and Ray that, are, that have been up here, um, to hear how that building got there or how that sidewalk was done or who ran that water line. You know, these names that I haven't met yet. I mean, that stuff lasts forever. That's an impact that you know, a hundred years from now, you know, that guy built that, you know, and I can tell you the story about him and, and his kids that I watched grow up through camp and someday his grandkids will be coming here or sending their kids here. I mean, that kind of legacy really for something that is so timeless. I mean, these trees have been here for so long and these buildings are gonna be here long after I'm gone. And so just to be a part of something like that, uh, both in my work life and my family life is, is incredibly meaningful. So yeah, just want to say thank you to everybody who's kind of been up here and participating in what's going on up here um, and the lives that are being changed. The seeds that are being planted, we may never get to see that crop grow, but that's not ours, that's for God to grow. And so I just want to say thank you for your financial contributions, uh, your time, your energy, and your prayer uh, for this place, for my family especially, um, and my kids as we kind of make this a part of our lifestyle. It's exciting to partner with you all. I respect everything you've built so far, and I just want to be a good steward of your facility and your team and this ministry, and try to use my skills and talents and vision um, to carry this thing forward.